Hiya. So next up on our conversation list is odds. Uh, so odds is basically just another way to look at probability. Um, it's just looking at it in a kind of ratio perspective rather than um, total probability. Uh, and this is actually seen a lot, especially in gambling. Uh, so these are things like the odds are three to two that the person will win. So this is generally where we see these types of odds, right? The odds are three to two that that person will win some tournament or a horse race or whatever. Um, and so this is um, basically an odds. So if you think about it, odds is basically some ratio. So odds are normally just another representation of probability, probability that compares the chance of something happening to something not happening. So it's kind of looking at these two things um, and looking at when they kind of work together. Um, so in mathematical terms, what we have is the odds of something happening. So the odds in favor of something, uh, and I guess I should highlight this. So the odds in favor of something happening are denoted, are said to be the size of A to the size of A complement. So again, think of the chance of A happening compared to the chance of A not happening. Uh, and then similarly, the odds against something is the chance of A not happening compared to the chance of A happening. Uh, and so for us, what we normally do is we denote it by this, um, A uh, colon um, AC. We'll highlight this in blue. So this is how we normally write this out. Um, and this is kind of best done through an example so we see what we're talking about. Um, so an example, um, we're gonna roll a six-sided die. Um, and so we know right off the bat the problem, and we're gonna look at the odds of rolling a four. So if you think about this, with this we already know, um, odds of rolling a four, we know that A is equal to four. We know omega, this is just all the numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So we also need to figure out what a complement is, and this we've done, right? This is the probability that the roll doesn't equal four. So this is omega without a. So this is one, two, three, five, six. So we skip out four. Um, so the probability, so, so find the odds um, of rolling a four, so it's in favor, so odds in favor of rolling a four. So this is given by the size of A to the size of A complement. So here we have one for the size of A, there's only one element. And A complement, well, there's five elements. So it's one to five. Uh, the odds against rolling a four So this is given by a complement to A. So here a complement is five, A is one. So it's five to one um, against. Um, we don't, we use odds occasionally in the class. So it's something we you do need to know, but it's not used intensely. Um, so I'll give one more example from the real world um, and we'll call it quits uh, for this part of the talk, uh, for this video. So, Let's look at this example 4.2 um, and we're going to say we're watching a horse race and the commentator said that the, ho that the horse has, um, has odds of winning 7 to 1. So 7 to 1 odds of winning. So what does this mean? Uh, so odds of winning, so of winning, this is means in favor, right? So here we know that they're saying in favor. So what we have is we know 7 to 1 means this, right? Because we have in favor. So the size of A is equal to seven and the size of A complement is equal to one. Now here, if we kind of think about this, um, A with A complement, this is just all of omega. So if we add these up, seven plus one is equal to eight, we have that the size of omega is equal to eight. So the probability in this case, the probability of A is given by the size of A divided by the size of omega, which is seven divided by eight. 
So we roughly get an 87.5% chance of winning. Me personally, I like this way of seeing things better because we get an actual percentage and it's a little easier to figure things out. The seven to one thing, it doesn't mesh with me, maybe because I don't do odds as much, I don't gamble, I don't know, but that's it. So we'll just leave it there for today, uh, for this video. Uh, next time or next video, we will talk about um, interpreting probability. Uh, so yeah, thanks.